you all my dear 6th class students a very good morning to you so welcome to your video class so my dear children tell me how is it going good okay that's really great and as you all know that this is i read life and today i will be teaching you science so are you all excited for your new topic today good so first of all take out your notebook and pencil first great so let's move forward to our topic that is your chapter number 1 right but before mentioning topic on the board may i ask one question from you okay so my dear children tell me can we all survive without food no very good we can't survive without food at all because food is our basic need and we can't live without it right yes and it provide us nutrients like tell me nutrients like yes carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and minerals and so on right yes and as we all know that food usually comes from yes tell me yes from plants and animals so it means that food is very important for our body to survive right yes so my dear children can you tell me which topic we will be going to learn today tell me very good topic is food and where does it come from yes so all of you write down topic is food where does it come from right where does it come from so students first of all tell me what did you eat at home today okay good okay so can you tell me my dear students that did you eat same kind of food every day hmm no we all eat different kinds of food at different times right like tell me yes chapati rice vegetable curry etc right and there are so many varieties of food that we eat every day right students yes so here is the one activity for you you have to complete this activity in your notebook okay so write down activity 1 okay students so basically what you have to do you have to just make a table like this okay make a table like this yes and divide into two columns right like this and here write down days and food items right so my dear students in this activity you have to write here days name like monday tuesday wednesday and so on and according to that days what you have eaten like on monday what you have eaten so you have to mention here which kind of food items you had okay so you have to complete this activity all right okay so let's move forward to the next part that is food variety okay that is food variety okay so all of you write down. food variety all right yes so my dear students first of all tell me the food that we eat every day have you ever wondered that what are these food items are made of yes as we all know that different kinds of food 
is being prepared by different ingredients. Right? So let us take one example first. Okay. So think about rice cooked at home. Okay. So firstly we take raw rice and boil it in water. So just two ingredients are needed to prepare a dish of boiled rice. Right? Yes. And on other hand, some food items are made with many ingredients. Like if you want to prepare a vegetable curry, what we need? Tell me. Yes, we need vegetable of course. Yes, salt, vegetable oil, spices and so on. Right? So it means that for different dishes, we all need different kinds of ingredients. Okay. So here is one more activity for you. So all of you write down. Activity 2. Okay. So in this also, you have to make a table. Okay students. And same that you have done in activity 1. Make the table like this. Right. And here you have to write food items. Here you have to mention the food items and here ingredients. Right. Suppose you have written dal here. So how many ingredients would be used to cook dal? Alright. Yes. So you have to do this activity also. Right. Students, I am giving one by one all the activities to you. So you have to do the work very properly. Alright. And before that, you have to understood the chapter very thoroughly. Then only you can do these activities. Right? Yes. So let's move forward to our next part. That is food material and sources. Okay. Food material. Yes. Food materials and sources. Right? Yes. Okay, so my dear students, it means that the food we eat, so what are the sources of it and where does it come from, right? So let us take one food item here. Yes, that is key. Do you like key? Yes, okay, same here. So students, if we are having key, so what are the ingredients that we use in it? Yes, milk of course. Hmm, obviously rice. Yes, sugar and some dry fruits. Right. So can you tell me we get milk from animal, rice from plant, yes and so on. Right students. And as we all know that plants are the main sources of food. They provide us fruits and vegetables. Yes, we eat many leafy vegetables. Right? And sometimes roots also. Right? Yes. So my dear children, on the basis of this part only, write down the homework. Okay. In this, you have to draw parts of a plant. Draw parts of a plant by showing by showing Shoot system and root system. Alright? Yes. In this, you have to draw the parts of a plant by showing shoot system and root system. Right? Yes. So, the next part is, hmm, yes. Next part is, what do animals eat? This is very simple part. Right? Yes. What do animals eat? So can you tell me students? 
Yes. As we all know that all the animals are categorized into three main groups and that's our carnivore, herbivore and omnivore. Right. And you already know that herbivore animals are plant-eating animals. Yes. And carnivore animals are flesh-eating animals. And omnivore animals? Very good. They are both plant and flesh-eating animals. Right. So all of you write the activity on the basis of this only. Right. Have you all written? Okay. So all of you write down. This is also very simple activity. Right. Yes. So two activities I have given already to you. Okay. This is the activity three. Right students. So basically what you have to do, you have to draw same table. Okay. And you have to write name of the animals. Okay. Name of the animals and here food that they eat. Right. Suppose you are writing cow here. So what does cow eat? If you are writing lion, so what does lion eat? So you have to write like this. Okay. And one more table you have to draw. You have to write one column here herbivore and one column here carnivore and the third one is omnivore. Okay. And in that you have to mention herbivore animals, carnivore animals and omnivore animals. Got it? Yes. So at last write down the questions also. Yes, all of you write down. So, I think that you all have understood this chapter. Right? Good. So, all of you write down the question one. Okay. Write down. What is the importance of food? Right? Yes. And in this question, this is very simple question that I have given to you. Write any five traditional food. Okay. So my dear students, you have to complete this question answers plus activities in your notebook in very neat and clean handwriting. Got it? Okay, so I will meet you in your next class. Till then all of you take care and stay blessed. Bye-bye.